Welcome to Signal by Sony. I'm Olivia. I'm here with Kenta. Hello, Kenta. Hello. All right, so we have a brand new camera here. Yes. We you do. want to tell us about it? Yeah, we're really excited about this model. This is the Alpha 6000. So as you can imagine, it's the direct successor to the NEX6. All right, let's hear about those features. All right, so okay. it's a brand new uh, image sensor that we have. Mm -hmm. um, just like the NEX6, um, it's an APS-C size image sensor. All right. But the NEX6 was 60 megapixel. Now okay. we're upping that to a 24 megapixel. Processor is a Beyond's X processor. All right. Uh, which we are borrowing from the Alpha 7, the right. Alpha 7R. So it's about you know two times as fast as the the predecessor Beyond's processor. The cool thing about the technology now with image sensors is you are able to combine both of, both of the best worlds, right? Okay. So face detection AF is great to get um, quick. AF. Contrast detection is great to get precise AF. Mm -hmm. So we're marrying both of that into one image sensor. So NEX6 uh, was about 50% um, coverage mm -hmm. in terms of the image sensor. Mm -hmm. Now we're going all the way up to 90%, over 90% coverage. Oh. Okay. So that's almost in the entire frame, right? Can you tell us about the improved, hopefully, yeah, features so of autofocus on this camera? Combined with the new image sensor mm -hmm. and then Beyond X, what we're able to get is really fast AF speeds. So this How fast? One, this one's the world's fastest. 0 okay. 0.06 seconds to get focus. Tell us about the tracking. So this is for both photo and video? Yes, correct. All right. So this one now does 11 frames per second mm -hmm. with tracking AF. Okay, that's pretty cool. Can you tell us what exactly that means, just in case anyone out there is confused sure. about that? So, just imagine you're trying to shoot your dog. If they're stationary, which they're not, mm -hmm, usually, mm -hmm. you know, it's fine to be able to do 10 frames per second, 11 frames per second. Right. But unless you have tracking ability, mm -hmm. if, uh, if the kid or the dog is running towards you, you can't get that on a regular camera. Right. But this camera is so advanced with the Beyond Sacks, mm -hmm. with the tracking ability, you can track that as well. And the, the image will stay in focus. Exactly. And okay. so it does it in stills and also video as well. All right, let's talk about video. All right. Tell me about the video features. So video, we're always an industry leader when it comes to video. Um, we have ABC HD, which records all the way up to 60p full mm -hmm. HD. Mm -hmm. You do have the option to go down down to 24p as okay. well. And then it should also shoots in MP4 as well, 30p. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Now in terms of video capture, what about this brand new AF mm -hmm. technology with this new processor? How does that help the video or help bolster the video capabilities of the A6000? Very good question. Um, in video, you mm -hmm. don't want very jerky AF movements, right? right? We want it to be very smooth and gradual. As so, if it were done manually. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've introduced a, a new, um, menu system mm -hmm. where you can change the AF drive speed okay. and also the track duration. All right, what are those two? Yeah, so these are really helpful when you, you're tracking something, mm -hmm. you know, or a subject in space, and then, but someone cuts in front of you. Right. You don't want the camera to be fooled and try and track the person that just cut in front of you, mm -hmm. right? So it'll make that transition, you know, um, gradual okay. or just completely ignore it for you. Tell me about the electronic viewfinder or the EVF. Very important feature of this yes. camera, right? So you, you always want to be able to shoot very fast through the uh, eye level mm -hmm. viewfinder. So we do have a proximity sensor, just so like the NEX. Proximity NEX. sensor is on this, yeah. and we can turn that feature off if we would like. Correct. Okay. Yeah. You can always shoot in, in the EVF. Okay, great. And is this OLED? This is OLED. Okay. This one is SVGA, so 1.4 million dots. But combined with the Beyond X and also the uh, improved optical formula mm -hmm. in front of the OLED viewfinder, then you get a better viewing experience. Okay, so it's not actually a step down. No. Okay, so the numbers could be deceiving, exactly. but they're not so much so. Now, in terms of ISO, white balance, uh, picture styles, what does this camera come with? So ISO, it's the same as the NEX6, uh, okay. 25,600, okay. but combined with the new image processor, right, mm -hmm. Beyond X, mm -hmm. you get really great low light shots. With uh, white balance, you can mm -hmm. customize a lot of it. We now are including underwater um, uh, white balance. Oh, great. So very good for divers. Mm -hmm. Now, really quickly, also the body here. So the grip looks a little bit more robust mm -hmm. than on the NEX6 body. And is it weather sealed? Is it water Waterproof. No, it's not weather sealed, but you know it's very sturdy. Now let's talk ports really fast. Mm -hmm. There's no audio out, okay. but there is an HDMI port and a USB port. Okay, okay. HDMI, uh, USB, and then on the other side. So basically, we cannot plug a microphone into this. So what you can do is plug in a, a separate the mic. shotgun. Mm -hmm. We also have a built-in flash as well. Okay, built-in so flash pops up. 
A little bit different than the NEX6 is that we have the mode dial now on, on the left, mm -hmm. and then we have a control dial here. So there's um, seven different buttons that are customizable. Okay. On the side we have NFC. NFC. So um, we have uh, NFC and Wi-Fi is built in as well. So if the, if the smartphone has NFC, mm -hmm. then with a tap you can do that. Um, if your smartphone doesn't have NFC, then you can use the Wi-Fi. Now is there GPS on this camera? No, not this Okay, no GPS. So are there any other connections that we can utilize with the A6000? Yes. So there's one more thing. Uh, we borrowed it from the Alpha 7 and Alpha 7 Arc, which is PC remote control. Nice. So what you can do is connect the camera to your PC via USB and then control your camera fully from the PC. So what do you have control over? So you can control you know, aperture, exposure, shutter speed. You can also uh, initiate recording uh, as well. Full and control. All, full control. And then all the files will be sent to your PC directly. So that would really make the A6000 a fully controlled studio camera in a lot of ways. Yeah, totally. So Kenta, as far as the lens mount on the A6000, which lens mount are we looking at here? And then what are the lenses that are available either now or maybe some in the future? Just like the NEX6, it's the same E-mount e lens uh, mount. These all work with the Alpha 6000. Okay. All right. So Kenta, let's talk price point. Yes. So NEX6, if you remember, it started off at $999, so $1,000. Mm -hmm. Came down in price, so now you can get it for like $899. But now with the Alpha 6000, we have an upgraded image sensor. Okay. We ha also have Beyond X, right. borrowed from Alpha 7, 7R. It's the world's fastest AF camera, all for $799. So okay. For $800. So you're getting more for less yeah. out the gate. Correct. All right, so when can we get this camera? Yeah, you'll be able to get it around mid April. All right, mid April. Yeah. All right, so thank you again, Kenta, for all the information. Now, if you guys would like to learn more about all things Sony, you can check out youtube.com/signal.